Greetings, Break World. We're working on a Mazda Tribune tribute. We're doing a front brake pads on it. I'll, in my comments, I'll put the year. I, I don't know what year it is. So I'll put the year so you know what you're working on. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this clip. It's under tension, so be careful. Second thing we're going to do is they got some covers for the bolts. They're plastic little caps that look like that. Pop those off. And this is going to be a very odd size Allen key. It's a, it's a nine, a size nine. Um, I don't have a socket for it, so I'm actually using um, one of my Allen keys. And I'm just going to just tap it, tap it a little bit to take it out. This is what the key looks like. Well, you can get a, a nine socket, but I don't have one. Oddly enough, my my set didn't have one, so I'm just gonna use this. It's, it works. It's the, it's the correct size. Just takes a little bit longer because you gotta do it manually. I can't use my electric. Um, as you guys know, I start off with all my vehicles with the car jacked up and the tires off. And if you can't do that much, then I wouldn't attempt to do my own brakes. And I'm just taking this. You just twist a little primitive method. But like I said, my set, oddly enough, didn't come with a, um, a size 9. And I don't really want to use a size 9 for too many vehicles. Although, I last week I had an Audi that used it. So, I think I'll probably go buy, buy one when I get a chance. Top, you have a brake line that's in the way a little bit, but it's a rubber line, so you can just move it with your hand. So you don't have to keep on readjusting your Allen key. I just move it with my hand. It's hard to show you because I gotta. But okay, there we go. Okay, we're free. Okay. I'm gonna take my big screwdriver and just kind of push this caliber off a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna use my C clamp and push this piston back in slowly. This is a six inch C clamp. I have a smaller one, but. Typically, I use the bigger one for the front, the smaller one in the back. You don't have to this time, but I have to use the smaller one. Okay. So I'm just going to push this piston back slowly. The brakes are worn down really bad on this car. I'm going to show you the difference between the old pad and the new pad in a second. As you can see, this thing is really... C clamp has seen better days, but it still works. Typically, it shouldn't be this hard to push push it back. This, this one might be a little stuck, but it's going back. So. reason I shifted it because I think I was pinching the, the rubber lines a little bit. So if you do that, it's going to restrict, it's going to make your piston go on slow. That's a little bit just readjust the line. However, 
don't think that was a problem. I think it was just a bad. A bad caliber. Here we go. Sorry for all the long delay, but this piston has to go back. Good. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see. Yeah, it's not gonna go back some more. Wishful thinking on my part. Fool me. Okay, yeah. see the thickness this is the backing plate this is the pad so this falls down to the backing plate if you notice these new pads seem like they're very thin like they being manufactured thinner I don't know. what's that about this one has a clamp so it goes into the caliber clip it right in well, let's see if I pushed it back up oh, yeah I did it was back far enough because this wouldn't go on if it wasn't Now you're going to start twisting your bolts back in. Take that long. This wouldn't, wouldn't take that long to happen. The right socket. And I wasn't using this Allen key. The Allen key works pretty good. I don't want to give me a little grief, but it's okay. Now it's going. Just keep twisting so you can't twist it no more. Just twist, twist, twist. That'd be real soon, I should be stopping.
There we go. I'm gonna switch it and give it a little final twist. I'm gonna finish the top. The top basically ends, but I had a couple more turns left. There you go. Got the little dust caps. These are them. Pop them back in. Got two of them. Pop them in. They just pop right in. Make sure this is nice. Uh, put your tension of clamp back on. Have to readjust. Sorry, guys. Just want you to see it all. That's it. All right. Tie it back on. Step on the brake five times. And I'll see you in the next job.